saying that there is a uh, um, difference between meetings and online uh, okay, yeah. uh, networking. What about online networking? We have uh, now there's a lot of tools we can yeah. use. We receive a lot of invitation to yeah. new networks and uh, new tools that you can use that uh, yeah. seems to, to be uh, huge. Yeah. Uh, how do you choose between them? How do you know which one is right, yeah. which one you can left behind? Yeah. I, I think first of all, and, and this is the same whether it's online or face to face to be honest, you have to know what your objectives are. The biggest mistake that people make, and I've been saying this for years since I, got in, since I was involved in running networking groups, is that they will join a network because someone invites them. You know, and then you know they all hear about it. So you get so many invitations to join LinkedIn. You think, okay, I better join LinkedIn, and they don't know why they're there or what they want to achieve. The same with Twitter, Academy, Facebook, Zing, Plaxo. You know, we could carry on and on and on. You know, there's new invites every day, yeah. um, and, and so you get these invites, and you say, well, okay, well, that looks good. I'll join. Not thinking about why am I joining? What's my outcome? What do I want to achieve? What do I need to commit to this network in order to get that, that outcome? And is that manageable? Now, if you can answer those questions, you can then pick the networks that are right for you. So, for example, I use Twitter in a number of ways, but primarily to raise my profile. Um, I use it to educate my network about what I'm doing and help them understand more what I do day to day, the sort of clients I have. I use it to drive traffic to my blog because that helps with the understanding element as well and the profile building. I use LinkedIn to generate referrals so I can see who, how I can connect with the people I want to meet through my existing networking contacts. Um, I use uh, Academy Blackstar more offline than on, mm -hmm. you know, as a support network as well as a referral generation network. So I know for each of them what my objective is. That drives how much time I spend on them. And it also means that they're the ones I spend my time on. And, and, and Facebook is perhaps slightly more social for me, although I do have a business Facebook page. Um, I, so those are the, the four main ones I use. And I use them in different ways, as I've outlined. And so I may not go onto LinkedIn every day, but yet I've got Twitter open all the time. So if I'm writing an article, uh, as I was doing earlier this week, I wrote an article, as I wrote a line, it jumped out at me, that's a perfect tweet. So I just copied it, pasted it into Twitter, and immediately about six or seven people retweeted it, so they shared it with their network. So that takes me seconds. So people think that oh, Andy's on Twitter all the time, I'm actually not, but I can dip in, dip out, you know, I can send a message out, I can look at what's happening, you know, I call it the water cooler moment, you know, I need a little bit of a, a break from what I'm doing, mm -hmm. flick onto Twitter, what's happening, what are people saying, share that comment, go back to what I was doing, it takes me seconds. Now, people think that's a huge waste of time. And first of all, if you know what your objective is and you know what you have to do in order to, to reach that objective, you can focus your time and act in the right way. So you're, you're a lot more efficient in the way you use your time online. The second thing is, if you were to write a blog and you wanted it to be read by X number of people in, let's say in four different continents, how could you do that the old fashioned way? How long would it take you? I wrote a blog recently that was retweeted, it was shared in four different continents. I had a hundred hits in about three hours on that block. Now, the time I would have invested in that, otherwise would have been probably hours to do that. But now it's done for me, and all I have to do is tweet it appropriately in seconds. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. So it's a time-saving tool if it's used effectively. But that comes from knowing your objectives, knowing which networks fit those objectives, and understanding how to use them and what you can commit to them, and not overstretching yourself. Ha, 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 ha.